Hey everybody, this is Pat with High Level Freaks coming at you with yet another tutorial. Uh, sorry if you hear any background noise, we got like construction work going on in our neighborhood. Um, but anyway, hey, so this is a brand new tutorial we're dropping today because I've seen the uh, questions in the High Level group and it's been about pricing tables. So uh, people want to know how to create a monthly, yearly toggle that will let you toggle between, you know, monthly pricing and yearly pricing. And uh, the concept behind that is that, you know, monthly pricing is going to be a little more expensive, like if you're selling SaaS for 97 bucks a month, but they toggle to yearly, they can get it for 970 a year, technically giving them, say, two months free, right? But the nice thing is, is that it puts that nice fat chunk of money in your pocket immediately for the yearly uh, product. But instead of having a whole bunch of pricing on your page for all those different, you know, uh, uh, you know those different uh, options for your you know monthly and yearly that sort of thing you want to be able to just have a nice tidy toggle so it just lets them see what they're getting so uh, we happen to have a funnel created already so after seeing questions today and getting a whole bunch of people messaging me asking me for the funnel share I thought hey why not just create a tutorial right and we're going to show you how to do this but you can also download the uh, funnel share the link is in the description so before you do that please make sure you subscribe and like and hit the notification bell so you get all of our cool tutorials because we have a ton of really cool stuff that we show you how to do in a high level that really nobody else is doing. You know, we we kind of cover the more technical side of things and all the cool little uh, code trick uh, tips and tricks and things like that. Anyway, hit all the YouTube stuff and let's get into that tutorial. So as you can see here, we've got the uh, pricing table set up in a funnel so it looks like a hot mess right here not going to be a hot mess right but um this is basically how you would set up your funnel we have initially the little uh script here i've got a little chunk of code and some basic html with some uh css and everything else in it as well so um well actually this is just the the, uh, the html that we've in included in the page here that creates the toggle code and then down here and let me cancel that there we go down here we actually have the toggle button css now you can edit this all you want but um basically we're we're gonna have this looking good for you right out of the gate right um, so this is the code that creates the little toggle button and then we have a little chunk of javascript that actually helps you toggle the yearly and monthly pricing now you might think wow pat these uh these tables are really ugly you know what they're functional um we're gonna let you style this to your particular funnel with your colors but the idea is that this stuff just it basically works so the way it works is that you'll see we have um, the monthly and the yearly pricing and then we have a button for monthly and yearly on each one of these three options so what we do initially to set this up in the funnel is that we need to set a uh, CSS class a custom CSS class for the stuff that's going to toggle monthly and toggle yearly so to do that like let's say I've got the $97 a month I'm going to come over here to the advanced tab and I'm going to give it the custom class monthly uh, and you'll see like all the way across, we have monthly and we have monthly, right? So this is kind of what you would expect for like typical SaaS pricing, right? Um, and then I have the yearly price and I'm gonna come and grab the, uh, the custom class over here and set it to yearly, right? Now you're gonna get the same options for everything as well, um, but uh, if I want to toggle additional information like with the 970 a year, I want to also show that they're getting two months for free. So I'm also going to set that to a custom class of yearly. So uh, that's basically what we're doing to show additional features. So if you did have additional features that you wanted to show, like if you sign up for the yearly, we're going to give you bonus lead magnets or whatever else, you could add more uh, content in here. You just have to make sure that each one that you're going to show for monthly or yearly is going to have uh, the custom class of monthly or yearly. Now, this, for the pricing buttons, I'm going to link to, say, a checkout page, right? But the monthly button has a custom class of monthly, and the yearly button has a class of yearly. That's really it. That's, it's very, very simple, right? 
So let's walk through what the code looks like and I'll show you how it works. So we're loading up this little framework called jQuery. I know it's a, it's a little bit of an older framework, but it makes things so, so easy to manage in your page. Um, so we're basically waiting for everything to load in, in the page and then we initialize the pricing table. So what we're doing is that we're creating our, our reference to a checkbox, which is going to be up in the, uh, the you know upper page there with our little toggle. Um, we're actually grabbing references to the labels and the monthly, the yearly uh, pricing and things like that. And then we're hiding all the yearly, we're basically defaulting to monthly, right? So we're, we're hiding all the yearly uh, uh, elements. And then we're basically saying, okay, if we're uh, clicking on the uh, on the label or clicking on the the toggle button then uh, we're going to actually check it uh, to see if there's it basically creates like a little check box in here so that's hidden and so when they click on the label it actually checks the box or unchecks the box so we're checking on that um, and then down here we're basically toggling saying okay well if it's checked then we're going to go to monthly and if it's unchecked we're going to go to yearly so this is just a very very simple little logic it's like if else type of stuff and let's look at the effect of that okay let's look and see just what it looks like and here it is so you see all of the the yearly uh, the yearly elements are hidden and then if I come up here and I click on yearly then you notice ta-da! it shows your yearly features as well so it shows the 970 a year and it shows the two months for free so then you can toggle it back and forth all day long and you can click to uh, to purchase your stuff it's really that simple. Um, so again, like we've got, you know, the, the little toggle button code, you can edit the CSS all you want if you need to modify it beyond what this is, like background colors or make it square or, you know, edit the text that says monthly, yearly. If you, if you need it to go um, in a different language, you can edit, you know, to taste, that sort of thing. Uh, and then we have the CSS code that actually handles the toggling of the, the little button. Uh, you can edit that all you want as well. Just make sure that you know you have this backed up so you don't mess it up because, well, I do that myself. But again, uh, and we have the code down here at the bottom that you can use. It's already done for you. If you need to modify it any, you can. Uh, and then really the only other critical thing is that for monthly elements and yearly elements, you just got to come in here and do monthly and yearly on your custom classes. That's it, guys. It's a super, super quick uh, toggling uh, price table in high level. No third party tools all pure high level all done for you so if you like this tutorial um you know click likes shares notifications subscribe by all means and get this funnel share the link is in the description also remember we have some insane bonuses for people who sign up for high level underneath us uh, either the 97 297 or the sas mode we have all of our snapshots available for you at different levels of uh you know sign up so um if you haven't signed up for SAS or agency uh this would be a great time to grab them bonuses because we have some really killer snapshots all right uh, i hope you enjoy the tutorial enjoy the rest of your week have a good day